<laughs> I got crazy hair this morning. Anyways, how's it going? We're here at Silver Creek again. It's a pretty amazing place. This might even be our last time fishing this season, at least at Silver Creek. Not sure yet. Uh, because I think we're headed out uh, pretty quickly here. We're gonna be headed out to north, to towards the mid section of Idaho. There's Wanagi, she got a car on her own little turkey. There's a mink lives in here, right in here. We saw the other day, she was chasing it around, not to harm it, she just wanted to investigate. But anyway, so like I said, we might be, we're gonna fish this again this morning, it's beautiful. Nothing's coming up really yet. Uh, it's still early and it's cold as hell. Last night was pretty. So great news. We just had an, an SD card. I think it's one of our cards has serious issues with it. I'm going to have to just probably throw it away. Uh, I keep re having to reformat it and that means I'm losing footage. Uh, we fished this yesterday and we just slayed them. It was amazing. Great fishing. Uh, right now there's a little bit of wind, but if the wind dies, it should pick up pretty good. Uh, I think when we get down around the corner too, we're a little wind block, so might get some fish rising down there. But uh, we're at Silver Creek. Uh, this is an amazing float. They call it the pond. Uh, it's got some flow through it, but it's um, kind of basically just a still water fishery, a spring creek uh, in Idaho. It's absolutely amazing. The hatches are incredible. We've got some trichos coming off. Uh, blue wing out of betis is what I've got on because it simulates the female trico also. Uh, so they'll hit that and then calabatus this afternoon. Uh, as long as the wind kind of tapers down, we'll see what happens. But uh, it's still early, so we're going to keep filming. We lost a ton of footage. That's okay. That's what happens sometimes. Uh, we'll just have to catch more fish for you guys. Anyways, uh, we're going to get going here, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to share some footage with you. I'm a, I want to make a couple casts and have you be able to see me cast. So we got fish feeding over here right on the other side of this aisle. A little brown, nice. Check out a little puppy. What do you think, Wanagi? So I'm going to put one in nice and short here. There's a fish feeding just past where I put it, but I don't want to, I don't want to cast on top of the fish. So we're waiting to see if he moves in this little, see the glassy part? You got all the riffle water out there towards that island. And then there's just little, little glassy right here. So we're going to cast over there this next one. So we'll dry it out. There's a fish rising over there too. There we go. We're right in the in the lane. The wind is not participating. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna throw a little higher this time. We've lost about three fish already, but we've also landed about three. They're not huge. We had one really nice fish though. We definitely lost a nice fish. But uh but hell, fishing's fishing, huh? At least we're catching. That can often be difficult here on Silver Creek, but we just caught another nice rainbow. Going to try and get him in the net before I kill him. Jesus. Here we go. It's a nice little rainbow. He took the... We have a Calabatus Emerger and a Calabatus Spinner, and he took the spinner. So, it's good. I think... Hell, dude. There we go. Another rainbow to live another day. Gotta let it swing out of there. Strip it in. Sometimes we get them on the strip. Hi, Wanagi. <laughs> what are you doing? She comes fishing with me. She likes this. See her? She's up on the float tube having fun. Yeah, that's right. That's what you do. 
That's what you do, you little stinker. All right. Make sure our flies are floating okay. Uh, both of them are floating okay. All right, we're prime time. Oh, that might have been me. I can't. We just had like three times a big fish came through here, like a big fish, like swirling the water, chasing the other fish out of the way. Like it was like a shark hitting the surface three times. And uh, we got we hooked one smaller fish, uh, got off, but uh, we're gonna try right now, right here. Oh, there's a nice fish there. Oh, and he took. All right, these are smaller little dinks, I think. But you never know. Oh, I got some seaweed, I think. That was kind of a refusal. <clears throat> Get my ass handed to me today. I mean, I bet I've hooked probably 10 fish and probably at least five to six of them. Really nice fish, no question. And uh, they just are on for a second and then gone. And uh, just not hooking properly. I don't know if it's the fly or me. But uh, anyways, they're still hitting trichos and betas. Uh, the calabetas is starting to come down though. So we're going to actually switch flies here pretty soon. I'm going to see if we can get a couple more hits on this betas fly. It kind of stimulates them and uh, go from there. But I don't know. It's not our day for landing fish, I guess. Oh well. Could be worse. Could be stuck in a city. Hey, how's it going? So kind of crazy morning. Uh, Man, we hooked a ton of fish, but didn't land. We landed, what, two fish? Yeah, two little fish. Uh, but we hooked so many and some big ones. But I was using like a size 24 uh, betas, which is betas or uh, it could be a trico too, female trico, a little green. Uh, and uh, oh my God, like, I mean, we were just hooking tons of fish, but the hook is so small that setting it and getting a good hook set into the fish sometimes doesn't happen. But uh, we're just taking a break here, hanging out. You can see, can you see the night? She's in the bushes right there. She's hiding in all that tall grass. It's nice and cool in there. I've been splashing her with water, keeping her cool, but it's a warm day. It's beautiful out. Look, uh, we're the only ones on the pond today, which is just amazing. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then what's happening now is these little mayflies, you might be able to see them bouncing right there. That's a calabatus. So basically the hatch for the morning's kind of done. The betas, the trichos all kind of came and went. And uh, now we're just waiting for those uh, calabatus to bang. And uh, it's just a matter of probably another, I don't know, it could happen anytime. But we're starting to see the calabatus are bouncing on the water and coming out. So... It won't be long. This should be a good hatch. It's not very windy. There's a light breeze. It's blowing upstream, so it'll make paddling back to the car a lot easier. There he is, finally. We hooked a fish. Not a big fish, but hey, it's a fish. <laughs> right on. Oh, a nice little rainbow and a distance release. Okay. Nice. All right, perfect. There he is. Oh yeah. A nice little brown. There we go. That'll work, honey. Oh, he swallowed a fish. Little bastard, huh? Look at that. He did. He spit that fish out. Brown. Alright, dude. Hold on. You took that spinner. You took that spinner. <laughs> Very nice little brown in there. See that? I'm letting him go. There he goes. Back home. Back home, honey. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
I gotta get my ass up in there. There's another one. I should have just stayed by the damn bridge. <laughs> God. There's another. Yes, sir. Another brownie. I don't think it's the same one. Well. Sucked. Mm. Oh. Nice. Ow. Come away, buddy. Uh. There you go. There he is. Jesus Christ, I shouldn't have even left the the damn bridge. <laughs> God. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that was a nicer fish too. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs>